Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, please make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. But yeah, so about three weeks ago, I packed up the van and I drove out to my best friend's wedding where I planned this bike packing trip that I was gonna ride around 330 miles over the course of two days. So in that trip, I decided to stop at a friend's house, which just so happens to be coach and YouTuber Dylan Johnson. Dylan Johnson took me all over Brevard, North Carolina, and we hung out for a few days just pretty much riding the gravel of Brevard, North Carolina. And yeah, it was a blast. Sit back, relax, and here's the video of me camping out in my van in front of Dylan Johnson's house. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going out for a ride with, uh, I would say pretty famous YouTuber. I don't know. Um, but I'm going out for a ride with pro mountain biker, pro gravel rider, Dylan Johnson. So I'm on my way to do my trip to go see my best friend get married. And I stopped in Brevard, North Carolina to go out for a ride with Dylan. And yeah, we're gonna go explore uh, Pisgah in the Brevard, North Carolina area. And yeah, I couldn't be more stoked. Let's go into his house and make some breakfast. All right guys, so breakfast is down. The bike is ready to go. We bought a filtration device yesterday. Bottles are filled with Monster Hydro. And yeah, we're ready to roll. So I guess I am on to my fate. What's going on guys? So today was pretty wild. Um, we rode seven hours, a uh, little under 100 miles, and yeah, I'm pretty flogged, but Dylan has convinced me to go out again tomorrow. I was just gonna make this a one day video, but it looks like it's gonna turn into a two day video. Um, yeah, I mean, Dylan's super cool dude. Uh, he practices what, what he preaches. He does train pretty hard. And yeah, we ride super long. So this track racer is a bit tired. I do have some non-sponsored Fruity Licious Fruit Loops um, with marshmallows. And I'm going to, for a little bit of protein and some fats out of my fridge, some Fair Life. So, yeah, we're gonna do that and uh, get ready for tomorrow. 
And not only was Dylan wanting me to go ride with him the next day, but then he decided to go lift. If anybody was wondering if it's ever true that he lifts buckets, he does just after six hour rides or seven hours. With bricks in it? Yeah, make it heavier. How do you know it's even? I mean, I have the same number of bricks in each bucket. But yeah, but do you put the same amount of water? Yeah. Just fill it up to the bricks? Well, this is my warm-up leg. Right? Oh. Are you gonna hit this? <laughs> How much does it weigh, do you know? You have no idea, it's uh, comfortable? Well, I kind of calculated the base off the bricks and the water. Like, if it's filled up to the brim, it's probably like 260 pounds. Oh, okay. I get what you're saying. I thought you were saying you're about to warm up with 260 pounds. No, no, no. I mean, I just warmed up with no, like, my first set was with no water, just bricks. And then this is like bricks with water half filled. And then once I'm done with that, it'll be bricks with full water. So 260 pounds. See, I don't, I don't, it might not be a full 260 though, because I, I can't do that if... Ashton Lambie says he can barely do, like, that's his max. What, 260? Yeah. He's like, trying to be able to lift 300 pounds. Like one rep max? Yeah. Like, his goal right now is to lift 300 pounds. I don't know if I believe it. I think it's clickbait. I've already told him this. So there you have it. Dylan actually practiced what he preaches and during this quarantine he has been lifting buckets of water over and over and over again. Um, so speaking of practice what he preaches, we then decided to partake in the same exact ride the next day uh, where I would go on to hit a wall and really fully crack. Alright guys. Day two with Dylan Johnson. I'm really starting to hurt. He doesn't care though. But yeah, I don't really know what we're doing today. I've heard mentions of seven hours. I'm hoping we both just tap out, but it probably won't happen. And it'll be another seven hour day. We'll eat pizza or something, hang out, do a podcast tonight, and yeah. But now, let's go ride. Alright, so today is a lot more chunky than yesterday. Dylan is leaving me in the dust. He's descending a shit ton better than I am. But yeah, we're like two hours in and just keep going. All right, so I'm almost four hours in. Dylan wanted to go for another hour. We called the seven hour day, but it's a good ride. I'm way back to his house now and I'm gonna get some food in and should be good to go. So yeah, I decided to turn in at around that three and a half hour mark and really just call it a day. At that point I was just getting junk miles in and we were really just pedaling to pedal. But all in all, I had so much fun and I'm super thankful that Dylan allowed me to come camp in front of his front yard and let all of the neighbors look at me very oddly and yeah, I got to hang out and explore and see a bit of Brevard, North Carolina, and hopefully I'll be back soon. Again, if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button, and if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe.